just reintroduce myself. This is Monica Giberti with Stamping with Monica. I am a Stamping Up demonstrator located in Stafford, Virginia. I, we're close to Washington, D.C., just in case you are wondering. And I have been a demonstrator for 21 years, and I have loved every minute of it. Today, you're joining me for my online class and I decided it's a free to watch as I said um, but you can receive the supplies to recreate my cards um, by um, placing a qualifying order. Now I chose to use the Friends for Life or Full of Life. It's a suite in the new annual catalog. You can find it you know, on page 42 and 43 of the catalog right here. It's beautiful. It's the paper is very bright. I love the stamp set and I love the dies. I hope I will inspire you to um, recreate the cards or to purchase the bundle if you don't already own it. Also because uh, right now Stamping Up is uh, running a special until the end of June where they have um, bundles with stamp set and dies at an extra 10% discount. So it means that if you're looking, for example, down here, the original price would have been $59, but a bundle is always discounted by 10%. So it's um, $53, but with the um, extra 10%, you basically are saving 20% off of $59. So if I do my math correctly, I will do $59 times 20%. You are saving almost $12. So the uh, bundle should be around $47 instead of $53. So extra savings. Okay. That's a great deal. This is only um, for uh, the, until the end of the month. And on top of the bundles stamping up also has the big die die cutting machine and the mini cutting cutting embossing machine on sale for um 10 percent off so great great specials so they're they have combined dies and the machine to um die cut them for their special in june so if you have a wish list with bundles this is the time okay and the friend of friends for life should be one that you have in your arsenal of tools because it's very nice and versatile the sentiments uh, cover pretty much all different occasions and whatever sentiment you choose is going to be just a beautiful card because you could do so excited for you or friends so excited for you happy birthday friend best wishes um miss you it could be just alone love you just alone and create a nice card um thank you um thank you for being a friend and then you will see that friend can be stamped and can be also die cut it and you will see in my two cards so this will create the base of, of the race right here you can see it um where did I see it? Right there. But you can also create this die cut right here using the friend. You will see it. These are extra. So basically, friend can be stamped and die cut. This leaf right here can be stamped and die cut. And all of the these hearts can be stamped and die cut. But everything else is um our extra dies uh, that Stimpin' Up has included in this set. So it's really nice. Okay. Now, what I wanted to let you know also is that we are, today is the 20th. So 10 more days of this special, but also um, just giving you in a, a little preview of what's coming out in July. So first of all, as a Stamping Up demonstrator or a discount shoppers, we were able to pre-order a few of the items that will be um, released 
in July and that will be what we call the online exclusives and I can show you here a little bit of what um, will be available it's going to be beautiful suite of product using um, it for Christmas then you will have stamp set dies beautiful 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 I'm planning a Christmas in July stamp camp and um, I am very excited because this is a beautiful uh, suite of products. But also you have this fun set um, with this designer series paper and these kind of embellishments, beautiful dies. And this is just a few of the items that we were able to pre-order. And so this is something that is going to be available to customers starting July 3rd, if I'm not mistaken. That will be the date where customers will be able to pre-order that. On top of that, well, I couldn't show you the new um, glass mat um, that was available only for a limited time for demonstrators to pre-order back in December. <clears throat> And also it was given out to new um, to those that would join the Stimping Up family as an extra perk during celebration. I wasn't able to pre-order because I was over in Italy and when uh, Stimping Up um, Stimping Up had a limited number available for current demonstrators and so I was unable but now in June, I was able to pre-order this because it's going to be available to customers starting in July. So we are going to have this available to customers as well. I'm pretty excited. Now, what I don't like is my lights are going to be, you know, doing this. So I will probably put my Stamping Up mat in front. So it will not be as bad when I stamp, okay? But this is a wonderful surface, wonderful surface to stamp. And even if you're using, um, what you may call it, photopolymer stamp sets, uh, you will not need to use the extra foam mat because this is a very solid surface, okay? Now, I erase my host code, but I will tell you. And I have a friend hello Dana thank you for joining in now I'm like okay I have a superstar watching me so I, I better be good okay so what I wanted to show you is also my ordering special for the class that I'm gonna show you tonight so as I said it's free to watch anybody can watch I'm gonna just inspire you with um, what I created I hope I will inspire you with with what I created with um, those the suite of products that I chose but if you're interested in receiving my cards the supplies to recreate my cards I designed four you get supplies for four cards uh, then there's a minimum order to be placed that is oh, over forty dollars before shipping and tax you get the supplies I will not include any of the embellishments but I will include the um, the ribbon that I'm going to use with that. I'm going to use some designer series paper and I will include it. But as my ordering special, if your order goes over $50, you will get the supplies for the projects and half a pack of the Full of Life designer series paper that is part of this uh, suite. So this time I am not giving you the embellishment that I'm using. First of all, I did not use the ones that are um, included here because they're momentarily not available. I used a set of um, da, um, the sequins that are available right now in the online exclusives. But I wanted to do something different. So you're going to receive half a pack of the designer series paper that you will cut on your own. Uh, if you qualify for the ordering special, you will get half a pack. You will cut 
your own. I will give you the measurements, and the measurements will go out only to those that purchase the, design, the, the class, obviously, that place the order. So this designer series paper, you see only 12 sheets right here. These are the patterns of the sheet of the designer series paper this is one side and this is all the other side and i think these are just wonderful very colorful very bright very cheery whatever you want to call it okay so you will receive 24 sheets because the pack includes 48 so 48 divided by 2 is 24 to each of um, each sheet okay so you can recreate um, and craft however you want okay there are a lot of colors included in this designer series paper pack as usual stamping up um, in includes the list of the um, car stock that coordinates in the back right here and you can also deviate from this set of colors because um this paper is just gorgeous 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 and fun okay so let me start uh, by creating the cards and as usual i will just show you one at a time i like to surprise so i'm gonna put this one down so you don't see the reflection of my light and um let's go let's get cranking here okay let me move this yet again so if you're interested in getting my car class just purchasing the um bundle will call qualify you for the four supplies then if you want to add something extra to it to reach to go over fifty dollars you also will receive half a pack of this so don't forget okay so here we go with the first one, and I'm going to go and start with this one. Let's see. Um, let me just put, um, I'm going to just, I'm going to repeat the host code. So at the end, because that will be telling me that you want the cards, okay, when you place your order. Okie dokie, so you already kind of saw a little bit of a peek of this card. Very simple and easy, but I'm going to show you how to put it together. And the supplies that you will receive in your packets, uh, in your packet are these. Um, you will receive uh, your card base in berry burst right here. You will receive your insert. Then I'm gonna show you something there. Then you will receive, um, this is pretty in pink, a new uh, ink color, but returning color that has been embossed with the exposed brick embossing folder a piece of uh, basic white then for those this will be a piece of designer series paper and a label and i will just put all these little things so i wanted to show you the dies and this is a die this heart when you put it in your paper it will cut out this way and it also cut this because as you can see it has a little i don't know ridge whatever you want to call it and here they are separated so your heart will not be a whole heart but it will have this in the at the bottom and when you will die cut this part then you will just need to trim a bit off like that and then trim it better than what i did and voila, you get your heart, okay? So let me put this one back and let's get cranking here. Okay, to, so you have your card base. We're gonna fold it in half. We're gonna take, let me see all my little pieces. There's, we're gonna take this and i'm gonna use a pair of scissors that i don't care too much about because i'm going to rough the edges um, i could use my paper snips but i don't want to make them dull and even if you rip the paper it's part of the uh texture okay this is one of my favorite favorite um favorite favorite technique very simple and easy what you would need you will need dimensionals, you will need your stamping seal, you will need some of the um, 
multi-liquid glue and what I was looking for. Oh, dimensionals here. And I'm just going to put dimensionals down here. Okay. And we're going to peel off these. So as I said, I will have four cards at the end of the class. And then for those of you that will <clears throat> comment and uh, like it and everything you and you will be here until the end I will do a drawing and for four different people that will be um, lucky to win the cards that I've created okay so let's go ahead and stamp on this one the colors that I've used that I'm using tonight are these memento I'm using peach pie I'm using berry burst I'm using granny apple green pretty and pink so these are the colors for my cards and i'm going to use these four colors for this card the stamp that i'm using is going to be the one that says uh let me find them they're already all mounted but i didn't take them out so the one oops stick one will be the best best wishes and then happy birthday i put everything all at once okay so let me just stamp my berry burst in berry burst i'm gonna stamp best okay and i like to use my grip paper as my guide hopefully you can see this and straight down hopefully it is straight oh wow stamps beautifully with my my um glass mat this is my first time stamping with it okay i just opened up my glass mat so i'm pretty excited and i'm excited that it will be available to customers in july so now i need my um granny apple green and stamp wishes and I'm gonna stamp it in a way voila done clean this set it aside so this is done now I'm going to take my pretty in pink pad I'm going to take this stamp okay I'm gonna show you this is the stamp that I'm using what I'm going to do is ink, stamp off, and then I'm going to stamp here, ink, stamp off, and I'm going to stamp right there, ink, stamp off, right there, stamp off, up here, okay? Just to give it a little bit of a texture or something. Now into the inside i'm going to repeat the same okay and i'm going to do like this off and then like this just to give it a little bit of something okay but you could just use designer series paper to put it in the back so this is done this is done this is done i'm going to take my memento and the sentiment that says happy birthday okay and this is a label that i die cut with the stylish shape dies look at that okay and that is done let me clean this and off i go so to mount this card Okay, this is a layout for that I took, actually a sketch that I took. If you own the, if you have a um, catalog and you go on page 22 of our catalog, you have a bunch of sketch, sketches or idea on how to recreate your cards. And the one that I chose is this one. Modified it a little bit, but I chose this one. Simple and easy. Okay, so I'm gonna take designer series paper. This is cut. This is what is on the other side. And I am going to do it this way. I'm gonna grab my 
adhesive. Okay. And we're going to put it crooked, kind of, semi-crooked. Then I'm going to grab this one and I'm going to redo. Okay. And do this here just to repeat the same the same idea there then I'm gonna flip it I'm gonna grab let me finish these and um, dimensionals never throw away these edges because they're like the bomb okay so use all of your dimensionals I had one of the ladies you know there was one lady coming to my classes and every time she would throw away the edges and we would say, no, don't do that. Okay, so this is going like such. Okay, simple and easy. We're going to grab this piece of, this is Lemon Lime Twist that I die cut it with this die right here. I'm going to put a bit of adhesive. This is going to go across like that, or maybe a little bit higher, hopefully straight, yes. Then I'm going to take my uh, heart, I'm going to put dimensional, dimensional, don't need to put too many, but if you want, you could. Hello, Elise, thank you for popping in. And I want this one to be like that. Okay, then I have these two heart. This, I'm going to save it for an extra card. The next card, and I'm going to show it to you. Then I have these two hearts. And I'm just going to put a little bit of glue there. And a little bit of glue there. Because it's easier. And then lift them up. And then lift this one up like such. Okay, then I grab my happy birthday and that will go over there. So with this and I'm going to put it right there just to make sure Ugh, that I got it right. I didn't put it in the right spot so I can peel it. I put the other one in the wrong spot, but that's okay. We can manage right there. Simple and easy, right? This is simple and easy. Then we're going to take the embellishments. In case you want to know, these are the Adhesive Facts Shiny Sequence. Number is 163484. Okay, not in the catalog, but online exclusives. And we're going to grab our You Pick tool going to put one here we're going to put one up here and one medium up there okay then I have this one as my insert put it down so for this card no ribbon because I think it was already pretty this way okay so this is your card number one with, okay, there. So that's one ready for being, you know, that we can select the winner. So let's put it over there. Let's move on to the second card. So for this card, I'm going to have these supplies. And so this would be the set of supplies. Let's put this one away. Obviously, you also will receive a um, envelope for the time being. I'm including envelopes as well. So this is a card base in peach pie. Okay. You have your insert. You have a piece of this is shy shamrock. Is one of the other. This is a new ink color. This is as well that I emboss with the painted something 3D embossing folder. And this is not in the catalog, the embossing folder, but you can find it in the online store, okay? Then you will have a piece, um, um, there's gonna be a piece of designer series paper in there. 
and I've die cut it a piece of uh, these two labels one in basic white the other one is in um, basic black and a bow okay the ribbon that I'm using for these cards if you want to know is the silver and white ribbon okie dokie so this is a simple 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 so we're gonna take um, peach pie we're gonna take peach pie let me find the stamp set uh, where are the two hearts and I'm gonna grab this let's see I think I'm gonna do it in a different way this time so I'm just gonna ink see I can because these are separated in a sense I can ink just one okay and this will be stamped right here okay and then i'm gonna clean it with my shammy shammy and then i'm gonna just ink the other the large one and this will go up here okay because i clean it very well you only have you don't have any halo in there okay and then onto the inside dough I'm going to stamp it all like that simple and easy stamping with peach pie is done we're gonna grab this label and the sentiment that I'm using is the sentiment that says so excited for you and we're gonna ink it in memento okay and because the memento pad is smaller than the uh, stamp, I like to run my stamp pad into my actual, um, what you might call it, stamp. And I'm going to stamp. So excited for you right there. Done. Beautifully stamped. Love this mat. Glass mat. Okay. All my stamping is done. Right now, we're going to go and put the card together. So you're going to take, um, we're going to take our piece here. And this is going to be going, okay, this card will be all wonky, okay? Nothing will be straight on this card. Let me find my dimensionals. All at an angle. Kind of, I personally like it this way. But if you don't like it, you can recreate your cards however you want it. Okay, so this is going to be done like such. Okay, pretty much. Let me see. Yeah, kind of. Move it up there. Okay, doesn't have to be exactly the same as I did. Then I'm going to take my designer trees paper. And sometimes you think, oh, these colors don't go together. But... Stamping up does a beautiful job with the combination of colors, so anything goes together. Anything. Anything. And everything. Okay, so this will be going like such. Then you're going to take this heart here, and the only thing that I've done is put a little bit of here, of liquid glue in here, just a tiny bit. I don't need much. Okay, and I'm going to put it down like such. There, as long as it stays in there. Then I'm going to take this fella here. This will get um, glued down up here. I'm going to take my adhesive, run it, and then, okay, this is going to go... How to be straight, Monica. Like such. Okay. So then my heart is secured. Then I'm going to take this. Let me see. Is it straight? Yes, it is. Then I'm going to take... Um, I think I'm going to use these. Okay. And these will be right here. Okay, 
all along here. And then we're going to peel them off. Okay, peel them off. And stick this one down. And we're going to do it like such. Okay, simple and easy. Then I'm going to take this ribbon right here and make it pretty. Like such. Then I'll trim it, but I'm going to grab my mini glue dots. Okay, put this one down here. Okay. And then now I'm going to trim it. This ribbon is beautiful. There. Okay, see how simple it is? This card is simple, simple, simple. I'm going to glue this one down to inside. Okay, this is a great card. It could be for any occasion you know cheering somebody excited for you for your new adventure excited for you for your trip excited for you for your new job and such and such and we're going to embellish it with these um sequins and i'm going to go and use those right here so one will be here and then i think i did one up here and one down here. Okay, so this card is done. Simple and easy, right? Easy peasy, nice and easy. And here we go, card number two. Okay, let's move on to card number three. And that will be there. Okay, love this card. This is a little bit more involved. We're going to go up in uh, involvement to recreate these cards. The supplies that you will get are right here. Um, and let me see if I did something that I was not supposed to. Yeah, correct. So let me grab. Let me grab. So you will get... Something already die cut, because I'm good. I will give it to you die cut, but I suggest you getting the bundle because is this bundle is the bomb, and then also because you can recreate many cards. And so I'm gonna take the mini die cutting machine here. Let's see. Okay, then I'm gonna take. Hold on, because I have my plate let's see if i can fix what i did not do before so basically we are going to so i should have run i'm going to show you so when you run this um die on the paper this is what you will get okay you just get die cut nothing separates besides these but i should have done this i should have done this okay right here and then this together okie dokie now i'm gonna take my um this is post-it tape okay and i'm going to do this and run it through okay we're going to run this through our die, mini die cutting machine that is on sale, remember, until the end of June, 10% off. And because I have my papers slippery sloppery here, and now let's see if it works. Move everything away. Okay, let's make a mess here with all these pieces. So this is what you will get. Peel off right there. Stick this one there so we don't lose it. And 
take this one off. Okay, this I can put it away. And then you will get, okay, you will get, you will get this part, okay, your heart together. And this you could save it because this is the same die cut. And then this one, we're just going to separate it like such, round it up a bit, and there we go. Okay, so you have that. Now, I need my die cutting again because we're going to use designer series paper and use this die again. And we're going to die cut this piece. Okie dokie. So I would need this. I just wanted to show you how to do it. I would need that. And I would need this paper. That's why you guys, if your order qualifies, you're getting half a pack. As my thank you. And on top of your, um, what you might call it, supplies to recreate the cards. Okay. So I'm cutting this. Okay, move this away, separate, okie dokie, and voila. So now, die cutting is done, I'm going to take my liquid glue, I could have used the um, adhesive sheet, but I think that this will do as well. I'm going to try to make this one more of a round. If my glasses would work, it would be great. But they don't work. And so my cutting is pitiful. Okay, so just a few drops, a little bit. A little bit, because you don't want anything to who's out. And if you happen, as I said many times, if you happen to have extra glue... Just let this one sit for a little bit so the glue is not as runny, but it becomes tacky. And then you'll be able to glue it without uh, any problem and ruin your project and make it all yuckity. Okay, so you would take this and then you would lay it on the top here and there we go and the beauty of the liquid glue is that you can just fix it and let it be okay so this is what you will get like that okay okay so now Let's go on, and then you can even save this because this could be, you look, you could put these two together on your card. Just suggestion. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save these pieces because you never know. So now I have a card base, and this is Azure Afternoon. Okay. Um, this is a designer series paper that I cut. is one of the patterns. We're going to grab our ribbon. And we're going to do this. In the back of our ribbon, we are going to put... Not in the back. Designer series paper. Look at this beautiful pattern here. Like, you know, one of the t alcohol technique. Okay. There for a minute trim it let's see if it is straight not really but we can fix it okay so i usually do my lives at seven o'clock on wednesday nights and i know that it might not work for everybody but um tonight i'm here with you because i had to move the one from last night and i wanted to do it since last week i missed because of my grandson arriving earlier than expected so it was a little hectic i would have to say just a little bit just a bit it is still 
busy time, but hey, we can do this. So then I took the dies, this big leaf set of leaves, and I cut one in basic white and one in pool party. Pool party is not, let, let me don't die, lie, where's the pack of paper? I don't think pool party is listed in the back. Let me see. Uh, nope. Pool party is not listed in the back of coordinating car stock, but it can work because I see pool party in here. So that's where my pool party thingamabobber came upon for me to use. Okay, so I'm going to do this. Okay, and this will be going down here. Okie dokie, one there and one there. Just making sure. And I'm going to secure this without pouring too much. I'm going to use a dimensional right there. Okay. Then this is going to go up here. Okie dokie. So I'm going to cover that, but I'm going to put dimensionals. Of course. Okay. Here we go. So this is card number three. There. Now, we're going to put it like such. Simple and easy. We're going to take our, this is a stitched um, circle from the these dies that I am I am assuming that everybody owns these dies because they are to die for okay these are the stylish shapes dies and I need high and I need my berry burst and it's a circle but you want to stem somewhat in the middle and it's not in the middle but we'll fix it we're going to put something in there and I'm going to take this this is going to go right there and so I'm going to put one dimensional on here put my high right there okay then I'm taking the ribbon and I'm going to do a bow Okay, like such, if I can do it. Okay, and pull in. I don't need it that big, but come on, don't fight me. I don't need a big, big bow. I just want a nice bow. A nice bow. See, I don't like to cut the ribbon off of my spool until I am done doing whatever I want because then I can save you know there's no need to cut and then trim and then trim and trim this is my thinking but obviously you could do whatever you want so this is that okay like this one this point I don't like it I'm gonna do like that now my inside, for my inside, I'm going to say hi, and then inside I'm going to stamp the thinking of you, okay? Because it's always nice to send a card to a person, maybe having a hard time, or just sending a card just because. So thinking of you, done, we're going to glue it. simple and easy okay so for those of you that are watching live thank you so much for those of you that are popping on and watching the replay make sure that you put replay hashtag replay so I know that you're coming along okay to watch and I really appreciate so now I'm gonna put my embellishment and I am using where's my you pick tool I'm using these to me are a little bit on the yellow side 
And so I'm going to put a large up here and a smaller up there. Okay. So this is the other card. This is says, hi, thinking of you. Okay. This is card number three. And let's go on and finish up with card number four. This is a fun fold. Okay. It's not a new fun fold. It's not nothing special, but these are the supplies that you will get. And I would need my, also my paper trimmer for a minute because I need to do something. Where's my paper trimmer? I know I had it here. Maybe it's under my nose. Oh, it is under my nose. Okay, paper trimmer. So this is what it is. Okay, first of all, I don't need to lose that. And actually, I'm going to glue it down right away, the little dot for the eye. It's going to go down right away before it gets lost in the midst of things here. If it stays down, be nice because it's stuck to the putty now. Please. There we go. So this can be there. So you, this is the front. This is what I was telling you that with the two dies, you can cut the base because also this is the kind of dies. If you stamp, I told you, right? If you use the stamp, you will stamp on your car stock and then using the dies, then you will be able to die cut this. Got it? There you go. Or you can just use the dies and do this. And we're going to do that later. I also am doing a bunch of hearts here. I'm pretty much using um, a bunch of the dies. So we have these two pieces. They go like that. This is my insert. This is a panel. And this is another designer series paper. Look at this beautiful pattern right here. Okay, we're going to work on this. I'm going to, okay, fold it in half just so I know that everything is um, in the spot. I think I had my um, bone folder somewhere. Oh, right in front of my nose. Okay, now... I'm going to take my, cover that, cover that. I'm going to take my trimmer, paper trimmer, and I am going to use the scoring blade that is this, the lighter of the two gray. I'm going to put a point there and then down here, okay? So hopefully I am correct so now I'm going to press down and score my paper okay and voila it is scored and now I can fold it okay so this is the skeleton of my card simple and easy so I'm going to glue down this you can choose whichever pattern okay and this is going to go down like such. Simple and easy. Then this strip is going to go down like such. Very simple. I could have embossed it, but I wanted something because it's already a busy pattern. So in my personal opinion, this is how it works better. Here we go done okay then we can set this aside let's focus on this we're going to grab the sentiment that says thank you i decided that this is going to be a thank you card okay oh thank you Kay. i really appreciate it hope you're enjoying them even tonight, so I'm going to stamp thank you up here. Voila. 
Okay. And let me do this before I go any further because I did mine. Oh, actually, I'm going to do exactly the same as mine. How I did it. Okay, so we have this, 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 and that. I'm going to mount these two together because I'm done stamping. Okay, so I can do that. Because remember, you always glue at the end. Voila. Then we're going to assemble this word here, friend, with our liquid glue. And as I said, small dot. And then sometimes this gets clogged. Small dots. And if I feel that I put too much, then I will let it dry on the side. And I will do so because I see some spots where the glue is not where I want it to be. Okay. So I'm going to let it be for a minute. Okay. In the meantime, I can work on other stuff. That will be assembling my my card because then I can do everything. So this card, okay, if we glue it down this way, whatever I wanted to be doing with my thumb fold, I would not be able to do that. So it's important that I'm going to fold it this way or it doesn't matter. I'm going to put liquid glue all around, but just in the middle in a way that I am away from the edges because this is not going to be exactly, this is a little bit smaller. The panel that goes in front is a little bit smaller than the card front. Okay. And then we have this happening right there. So we don't see anything in there, right there. So this part is done. We are going to see if I can put this one on. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. Okay. Voila. Perfect. Even if it's hoozing out, but I'm going to clean it after. It's going to dry Clear, and then I'm going to clean it with my eraser and like that. So this is going to go here. It's going to go like that, friend. So I'm going to just position my just position my parts, and then I'll put this one when I clean it. And let me see. This one can grab. Nope, we're going to use the mini dimensionals right there. We're going to put another mini dimensionals on this one. Love my mini dimensionals. Love him, love him. Okay, so if I leave it like that, this is going to go, tell me, it's going to go like such. Okay, this one is going to go. I'm going to put it right here. Okay. And now, let me think here. Everything is glued down. I'm going to grab this and clean up a little bit of the mess there. So it's not oozing out and not sticking to my fingers. So I don't want it to show. Okay, done. Now we're going to take many dimensionals, put this one there, this one right here, another one there. We're going to go crazy with dimensionals. Voila. And now we're going to peel them and put this one on the card. And then we're almost done. Okay. 
so because we decided that this is going to go like such. Voila. Friend. And then this one is going to be going like that. Okay. Then this one, I'm going to save it for the inside of the card right there. Now I'm going to take... This is Berry Burst Light, Berry Burst, and I'm going to do this on top. And I'm going to show it to you because you got all the speckles right there. Isn't that fun? I think it is. This one is going to go up here. Before I do so, I need to grab ribbon. Where's the ribbon? Where did I put the ribbon? Right there. And I'm going to do like such. Fold it. And voila, cut it, and then I'm going to secure this one together there and there. One and two, peel these, okay. Voila, this one is trimmed, this one is good. Okay, now I need to have something that would stop. So we're gonna grab the inside of the card. Look at what we're gonna do now. We're going to put two dimensionals, one and two, okay. I'm gonna put this one down. Let me see. Pretty much where like such trim from the back put this one down everything sticks to me now okie dokie voila and then just because I have an extra heart there. So this card then stays like that. Okay. But before we call it done, we need to put the embellishments on. And we're using these. Did I use these? I guess so. I guess so. Because, um... On all the cards I did, these are four colors, so I used four different colors on each card. Okay, and then a small up here. And now I can say that the cards are all done. Okay, so let me see. So this is, whoops, the last card, all my backings. So this is the last card right here. And then it stays up. There's room to write the sentiment, closes down. It goes inside a uh, envelope, regular envelope. Okay, so card number four, card number three, card number two, and card number one. Let's see if anybody has favorites. Okay, you saw me on this suite. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's beautiful, Judy. Okay, so as a reminder, if anybody's interested in receiving the supplies to re recreate the cards, I'm going to show you the paper, if I can find it, my special, as my thank you. 
um, you can receive the supplies to recreate the four projects with an order that is over $40 and the bundle goes qualifies for that if your order goes over $50 then I will also include half a pack of the designer series paper is my thank you okay um, your order will have to be put in by June 24th this is the host code that I'm using um, I will send out an email as well. If you're my on my email list, you will receive it. If you would like to be added to my email list, just um, PM me and I will add it to you. Um, I also will put all the information on the description of this video after I download everything. And this is the host code, just in case you want to write it down. M-E-X-Q-9-N-X-F and... Um, the bundle is on page, where is that? On page 43 of the catalog and the number to get the bundle is 163365, okay? That's the bundle. Okay, so thank you so much for joining me tonight. I hope you enjoyed the presentation and you've got um, ideas on what to do with the um friends for life bundle it's on sale remember it's on sale until june 30th okay so thank you again